become level. What's going on everybody general 315 back again another sneaker review video for y'all and i'm crushing these videos right now <laughs> all right so another sneaker review video for y'all i am crushing these videos i just want to get all of them out i do have a few more to do before i'm done and caught up but this one today i got these from my friend rose she sent these over for a review for me these are the white lobster dunks okay white lobster dunks now y'all know i'm not a fan of dunks but these are actually nice. They kind of remind me of the pure platinum line of like the Jordans and the, and the fours and the threes and the ones. They look like pure platinums. So I'm not too, too impressed with it, but I am impressed with the materials and I do like the idea. I'm just not a fan of dunks. So that's just my thing, okay? So before I get started breaking down the shoe, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video with your family and friends, all those things that everybody else says in their video, please do that here. Do that with me, help the channel grow even more because I'm gonna be doing some giveaways and this might be a shoe that I will give away to you, all right? So make sure you guys thumbs up the video and share it with your friends and your family. Follow me on Instagram for all the latest and greatest updates check out my reels page the reels page is popping there's a lot of shoes up there so make sure you go check that out also make sure you guys follow us in the discord the discord link is in the description of the video we have a really good community in there we help each other find shoes trade shoes we buy shoes with each other so if you're looking for a specific shoe somebody in there might have it and they might be willing to give it to you for a decent price okay so follow us in the discord the discord link is in the description now in terms of the lobsters and the dunks, there's a ton of different colors. There's green, blue, red, orange, purple, white. I'm sure there's another color I'm missing in there. There might be a pink lobster or something like that. I'm not really too updated on all of the different lobster colorways. Now, this one, Rose asked me if I wanted to do it. And I said, sure, just send it over because that's just, that's just me. I will do it as long as they send it to me. So she sent this one. And I gotta say, the materials are actually kinda nice. There's just a few things on the shoe, and it might just because I'm biased against dunks because I don't like dunks, but there's a few things on the shoe that I would have loved to see that were a little bit better. But other than that, the shoe is solid. So if you'd like it, to each his own. Go do your thing, grab any lobster you can, okay? So let's just jump right into it. The white lobster is pretty much an all white shoe and it's not even really white it's kind of like a wolf gray mixed with like a little bit of like eggshell white okay now you have your silver hits on there you have your icy outsole you have this thing that's supposed to go over the rubber band that's supposed to go over the lobster claw there they put the rubber bands over it you do have your gray laces and then you have a sail lace here and then you have yellow laces now Whatever laces people put in, hey, do your thing. I would probably just leave the silver laces in there or the gray laces rather. I would just leave those in there. That's just me, okay? The upper is comprised of a nice new buck type of material. And it's actually kind of nice. And if you can see a little bit closer here, you can see all the little speckles, like the blue speckles. And if you look up a picture of an actual white lobster, it does have all these little blue speckles in the white lobster. So not bad there. I think that the idea is good. And the speckles are only on these portions of the shoe. The mid panel, the toe box, and the heel don't have those blue speckles on it. So I guess it's kind of like an optical illusion type of thing. You're supposed to see it, but you're not, I guess. I'm not sure but it is what it is. Then you have your nice Nike swoosh. It is kind of silver. I do like how it kind of has these little marks on it. It makes it look a little bit more realistic like a lobster would, I guess. So not bad there. You have a pure white 
midsole, then you have a nice icy outsole and it is kind of icy blue. So I do enjoy that. I think it looks good. Heel of the shoe, you do have your Nike branding right here and that looks nice. It is stitched very, very well. This shoe was made very, very well. So I like that. There's more of those little speckles right there that you guys can see. So not bad. And then the medial side of the shoe looks just like the lateral side of the shoe. So nothing different there. Now, the problem that I had was the toe box. Look at how boxy that is. That toe box is extremely boxy. It's supposed to curve in a little bit more than that. This right here looks like 90 degrees to me. Now, one could iron this out, but like I said, the suede on here, you don't wanna ruin the suede nubuck material. So to actually iron that out would probably be pretty difficult to do. But if you wanna try and do it, then go ahead. It might just be my pair too, though. It might just be my pair too. Laces of the shoe, like I said, they're gray. And then you have this like nice wolf gray type of look underneath and it goes all the way up to the Nike SB tag right here. Yes, these are SBs and there you go. I just don't like this whole whited out look. You know, it just doesn't, it's not for me. It's just not for me. Now it is the puffy tongue because it's an SB. So these are gonna be really comfy on your feet. Now the sock liner of the shoe, you kind of have these stripes, kind of like a lobster has their stripes on their body. And if, like I said, if you look up the picture of a white lobster, you will see all of these stripes, okay? So not bad, the shoe's okay. Not my favorite, but not a bad shoe at all if you wanna pick these up from Rose, okay? So if I had to rate the shoe on a scale of one to 10, I would probably give this one a solid six for the colorway. It's not my thing. It's not for me personally, but I think it's gonna look really, really good on somebody's foot, just not aesthetically, not for me. Construction and materials, I'll give it a seven and a half. I don't like the toe box. I think the toe box is too boxy. Everything else on the shoe looks okay, but the toe box is a killer for me. I just don't, it's, we've been doing this for too long to be seeing toe boxes that look boxy like that. So you're going to get a seven and a half, but the suede and the new buck on it, very, very nice, very soft, good stuff. Okay. So that's all I got for this one. Y'all hope it was informative for you. I know that this shoe is probably super, super rare, but it might be a giveaway shoe. All right. So until next time, y'all stay humble. Y'all stay blessed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.